I know that was so horrible to hear the news out of Texas mm. just the other day. And too many stories like that you as know, well. You know, and you want our kids to be safe. Now, listen, I know that your kids could be in the car. We do have Stephanie Baker along with us, who is in Life in Abundance Counseling Ministry. And how do we even talk to our kids about these kind of things? Now, Stephanie, I know you say to reassure children that they're safe. Things like make time to talk, observe what the emotional state is of our kids, even limit viewing events. But you also say make sure when you talk to them, it's very age appropriate. Right, right. Um, you know, I think we need to sort of break it down maybe into three categories this morning. So let's talk about early elementary school kids. And really what we want to do is if there are questions, we want to keep information brief and simple um, and balance that with reassurance that their schools are a safe place, that their homes are a safe place. Um, when you're moving into um those kinds of discussions, we want to remind them about the things that are at their schools that help keep them safe, like locked doors and um, the adults that are monitoring things on the playground and those types of things. It's, it's really about reassurance for them. With upper elementary or early middle school, it's going to get a little more complicated. Um, they are going to be more vocal in asking questions about whether they're truly safe and what's being done. And we want to remember that they are at an age where they actually may need some help separating fantasy from reality. Um, and in that, that age group, kids like to make things up. They like to embellish a little bit more. Um, and so we want to really make sure that we're factual with them. Upper middle school and high school, even a different kind of um, discussion that we're going to have because they're going to be, they're going to have some very strong and um, individual opinions about how violence happens in schools and in our communities. And so you're going to, they're going to want to share concrete suggestions possibly about how to deal with that, how to make schools safer and how to prevent tragedies in our community. So give a listening ear to it. We don't necessarily want to edit them. We want to listen to them at this point and, and then emphasize with them the role that they actually play in helping um, schools stay safe by, for example, not allowing entry to a locked building to somebody that they don't know or reporting if they see strangers on the premises, going to the right people for that, and then reporting threats um, to school safety that have been made even possibly by a peer. Um, I think if we look at the history of these, there's usually something on social media that somebody has posted before something like this, or they've talked to somebody else about their anger or their frustration, but encouraging our, our older kids to, to really understand the importance of letting someone in, a, in an authority position know that that stuff is going on. Stephanie Baker's along with us with Life in Abundance Counseling Ministry. How in the world do you talk to your kids about what just happened in Texas in a way that they would understand? Yeah, and, and it is important that you not only talk to them, but you listen to the things that they have to say and let them kind of get that off their chest. But when you're talking to them, what are those things that we really need to focus on so that we keep the dialogue, you know, pointed and, and help alleviate some of those fears. Yeah, I think one of the main things, Liz, that I would stress is that we need to talk about the difference between possibility and probability. Now, Rob, there's possibility you could win the lottery tomorrow, but the probability of that is very low. So we want to use that in explaining to kids that sometimes people do do things that hurt others. Um, but the probability of that, the scale of which we have seen, is lower. Um, and so it, it can happen, but it's lower. And so we want to explain that there are sometimes people that have a hard time handling their anger. They might be under the influence of drugs or alcohol or even suffering from mental illness. And, and underscore again that adults are there to help get help for those, those types of situations. Um, I would really try to work with your children to help them understand that um, there, there are people that they can go to, maybe help them identify if they feel threatened or unsafe, somebody within the school or the community that they can go and talk to. Um, and there is a difference between reporting something like that versus tattling or gossiping. Mm -hmm. um, one of those is the reporting, and it's um, the idea that we're giving important information that might prevent harm um, directly. Um, we can report it directly or anonymously by telling the right 
the right adult, but we all play a role in school safety. And I think it's important for the kids to understand that they get to play a role in helping themselves feel safer. Hmm. Stephanie Baker, Life in Abundance Ministries, spending some time with us this morning. By the way, if you're looking for some of the things that she was just talking about, check out our His Radio video replay. It's on the website, hisradio.com. It'll be there for you. You can share it with others as well, because I know it's a big, big question mark. Stephanie, before we go, what are you doing this summer? You getting out? Oh, my gosh. I'm just going to take it easy this summer as much as I possibly <laughs> can. Um, I have started walking. You'd be proud of me. An hour a day, 30, oh, minutes, good. Good. 30, good. 30 minutes in the evening, I'm walking my dog and my husband's with me. And so it's been really great. It's amazing what you see when you get out and walk your neighborhood. Right? <laughs> it's amazing the people bit. that you meet. That's true. That is so true. Yeah. Thank you, yeah. Stephanie. Have an You're incredible welcome. summer. I know we'll see you really soon. Thank you.